when we're working with documents that are maybe confidential or drafts, it'll probably be a good idea to overlay that information on the page so people who are reading it will know. In this video, we'll learn how we can accomplish that with watermarks. It's really simple to add a watermark to our page. And what we're going to do is go up here to the Page Layout tab. And under Page Layout, see under the Page Background chunk here, there's Watermark. And if I click on Watermark, we have all of these different preset watermarks available to us. You can see Confidential, Do Not Copy. And if I scroll down, there's more ASAP and Urgent. And I can choose from one of these by simply left-clicking on it. I'll choose Confidential here. Going down and look at my document, and you can see very faintly over my document, Confidential gets overlaid over my document. And if I scroll down, it's actually on every single page in my document. If I go back to Watermark, I can customize this a little bit because perhaps I want to use one of the different ones or, or make my own. What I can do if I need to remove this watermark is go back to that watermark menu, choose Remove Watermark, and it just strips it out of my document. Now, to use my own custom text, I'm going to go back to Watermark, and I'm going to choose Custom Watermark down here. And I click on that, and it launches the printed watermark dialog box. And I'm going to choose a text watermark. Here I can choose the language I'm going to be using. And here I can type the text. So perhaps I'll type on track TV. And here I can choose the font that I'm going to use. I can choose from any font installed on my system. And here I can choose the size. So you can see I have different point sizes, and I also have auto. So if I leave it set to auto, it'll automatically scale my text to fill up the page. But if I need it to be a specific size, I can choose that size here or type it in the box. I also have the color of my text. By default, is a gray color, but I can choose a different one. Perhaps I want a red color. I can choose that. And you can see if I can choose if the color is semi-transparent or not. If I turn it off, it'll be fully opaque, but it may contend with the actual words on my document and make it hard to read. So I'll leave it semi-transparent. I can also choose if the text is going to lay out diagonally or horizontally across the page. I like it diagonally from corner to corner, so I'll leave it at that. And I can simply press apply, and I can see behind me here my watermark has been added to my page. And I can press close once I'm done, and go ahead and look at my document, and there's my watermark ready to go. We can also use an image watermark if I want to. I'm going to go back to the watermark menu, and I'm just going to quick remove my current watermark. And I'll go back to watermark again and choose custom watermark. And here you can see a picture watermark. I'll click that option and choose select picture. This will let me go through my document or my computer and find anything I like, perhaps a company logo, or maybe I'll use this picture here. Press insert. And here I can choose the scale of the picture. Again, auto will try to fill it automatically to the page size. Or I can choose my own say, page size in percentage here. I can also choose if it's washed out. And this would probably be a good idea because if it's not washed out, it'll be hard to read the text over top of the picture, depending on the picture you're using. So I'll leave it set to washed out here. And I'll press apply, and I can see very faintly my picture got added here in the background. And it's washed out because that option is checked on. If I uncheck wash out and press apply, you can see here it puts the picture in without any wash out, and it's a little hard to read the text. So I'll choose wash out again. Maybe I want it scaled a little bigger. I can pick one of these different percentages. Press Apply. It'll go ahead and scale my picture. And then I can press Close. There you go. Simple to add a watermark to your document. So there you have it, adding watermarks to your document. Now don't forget, you can as well use the picture watermark. And this usually works best with a nice simple picture so it doesn't fight too much with the text that's already on the page.